hear from Ron Slaybaugh. sitting on the edge of their seats. There was certainly some anticipation there in the stories and how they were going to roll out. And as Lloyd got to his punchlines, uh, everybody laughed. And there was some good voice for classroom from time to time. And the third, and this isn't to pick on you, Jack, but I looked over. This is a one other little tale, tale of somebody's doing really good is if they have the awe counter engaged and the awe counter isn't catching the awe. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to surprise me. You'll get up here and you have all of Lloyd's awes memorized. You didn't have a handful of them, Lloyd. Your go-to was so, and there's a few repetitions, some awes and some awes. But oh, even though you had to speak for eight to ten minutes, however, it really wasn't all that bad because you do speak pretty quickly, too. Not a whole lot of pauses in there. That would be my one opportunity for improvement is perhaps get those pauses in there because with humor, if you time those pauses just right, things can be even a little bit more humorous. You were speaking pretty quickly. Oh, the theme of the talk. How easy was it for us to follow? I really liked it. He started off with, well, how did these rumors get started? Right? And then shared several examples and if there happened to be an example in there, one of these stories of like the, the space needle that you didn't like, we'll follow up with the one of the Columbia River that maybe you will like. So there's a lot of diversity in this room. And I think in your case, everybody liked all of the stories. But I, I enjoyed how you just had several of those to, to make your, your point, you know, send the message home of what you were trying to achieve in this speech to folks after dinner. How effectively did Lloyd deliver his jokes? Yeah, all, all were uh, unbelievable rumors, but they were believed by many. And it occurred to me there when you started asking, how did folks, like the Columbia River flowing backward, how did so many people believe that? And I thought you were trying to bait me because you know that I have this real issue with stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> but in this particular case, I'm sure it's not stupid. It's just that the folks on the radio were so good in their delivery, people were a little bit gullible, so you're not going to get me. <laughs> um, overall, Lloyd, like usual, very good, enjoyed it. And I'm going to try to keep coming to these, and maybe I can evaluate your next speech and your entertaining speaker or humorous speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.